Hi guys, here we are for our special Easter Bible story, but it's also a, kind of a science experiment, and I don't know how to do it. So this is my husband, Mr. Gum, Hi, and he's going to do this experiment. Hopefully it works the right way. He teaches high school at Shoreland, and so he's used to doing stuff like this. So he's going to show us a really neat trick and tell us our Bible story all at the same time. All right. Good luck. Thanks. So this is a really special time of year where we get to talk about Jesus and what he did for us. And really, this all starts back at the very beginning of the world. And so I've got a glass here that we're going to fill up. And it's got a little world on it. And I'm going to fill that up with some nice, pretty clear water to show that when everything was made by God at the beginning of the world, it was perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. I can't even imagine what that would be like to live in, in such a perfect world. But there was a problem, and you probably have heard about this problem. You know what that is? Poison. Okay, We have a poison in us, too, called sin. And that happened because of Adam and Eve, uh, who were the first people on earth and the first people that sinned. And when they disobeyed God, it was like they took that that perfect world that they lived in and destroyed it. Mm, that's no, not very good anymore, is it? And so that was a big problem for you and me and for everybody else in the world because we live in a place where everything is sinful. We're sinful. There's bad things that happen because of sin. And people try to fix that. So I've got another glass here. And they try to do things like living a nice life or they think that maybe if they do more good things than bad things that that'll be good enough but no matter what people try to do to fix this problem of sin it, it just doesn't work our world is still sinful and that's where God decided to show just how much he loved us so I'm gonna put a heart out here because God wanted to show that even though we were sinful, even though we disobeyed him, that he loved us so much. And he loved us enough to send his own son, Jesus, to take away our sins. And so I've got another bottle here with a little cross on it. And on Good Friday, we get to think about and celebrate how Jesus came and died in our place on that cross. And although that's good for us, that was something that caused Jesus a lot of pain. So I'm going to take this, this bottle with the cross, and we're going to pour it in here and add a few drops. And you can see what color it's becoming. It's becoming red because Jesus had to die and, and shed his blood for us. And he did that so that our sin could be gone. This sin that filled up the whole world, the sin that we still see, when he died on the cross, It took our sins away. And that sin that had infected everything, just like poison, was no longer there. Your sin, my sin, was gone. And when Jesus rose on Easter morning, it was, it was a, a way to show that everything that he had done on the cross was perfect and that God accepted that. And so now you and I can be certain that even though we had sin, our sin's gone. Our sin is paid for. And we've got heaven waiting for us, too. That's some pretty awesome news, isn't it? So I hope you have a good time um, thinking about that and, and worshiping God because of that over the next couple of days.